Well, hey everybody, we are here today with Sergeant Cowart from the United States Air Force. First off, thank you for your service. And we're here to talk to people who might be out there that watch our show, our audience that loves the out of doors. And so Rick, tell me a little bit about what the Air Force offers to people that might want a career path in the outdoors and maybe they don't know about what the Air Force offers. Yeah, so I'm the Special Warfare Recruiter for Michigan. So we have six different career fields. We have pararescue, combat control, tactical air control party, Special Reconnaissance, Survive, Evade, Resistance, and Escape Specialist, or SEER, and Explosive Ordnance Disposal Specialist, or EOD. Uh, what are some of the bonuses involved in maybe signing up with the Air Force? So coming to the Air Force, you get a lot of benefits. So first, you're gonna get a paycheck, obviously. You're also gonna be enrolled into the Community College of the Air Force. So while going through your all your training, through basic training and through SEER training or PJ training, you're gonna get um, college credits for everything that you learned. Hmm. On top of that, we're offering a forty to $50,000 bonus right now. Okay, and so talk to me a little bit about that SEER program, because I think that's a lot of the outdoor tie-in. What is it about, what is that, uh, career path kind of lead you into and is that for people that really just love the outdoors or how does that work? Um, yeah a little bit of both so a SEER specialist is actually a trainer that trains individuals that are on uh, air crew status or other special warfare individuals they train them how to survive in the wilderness if they get shot down behind enemy lines they learn how to come back home and evade the enemy. And so they would employ some survival skills, hunting, fishing, that kind of stuff? Yes, yeah, so a special warfare individual is trained on like the core values of, of survival. So like you're building a fire or building a shelter, learning how to find gr uh, grubs or plants and what to eat, what not to eat. Also trapping small animals and learning to prepare them for consumption. Okay, and you're kind of looking for that age range from what, like 18 to, to 40 kind of a thing? Yes, 18 to 39 okay. qualifies for these career fields. Um, you don't have to have experience in the outdoors to do this job. Okay. So everything that you learn while going through training will get you prepared to be a SEER trainer. Okay, and you said something about this is kind of a different career path in the, in the military because you're, you come home a lot at night. You do. So every day you get to go out and you train these individuals that could outrank you. So it could be a captain, a pilot, or it could be another special warfare operator like a PJ. And you train them how to survive, evade, resist, and escape the enemy. But then at night you go home and spend time with your family. So hmm. they don't really see a lot of deployments. I mean, they could, but um, they spend a lot of time at home. They get to do all this fun stuff outside during the day, and including scuba diving, skydiving, and all that fun stuff. And then at night, just go home and be, t be with your family. Okay, and if somebody's watching this uh, online and they would like to know more information or, you know, meet with you in person or meet with someone close to where they live, how would they go about doing that? So the best way to do it is either go to airforce.com or they can contact me directly or they can go to one of their local recruiters in, in their area and they can actually get them in contact with me and we can go over all the benefits that the Air Force has and all the jobs. That's great. And just kind of lastly, what are some of the response you've got from people that have kind of entered this career path and are been doing it now for a few years? Just kind of talk through a little bit about are, are they happy with that selection and maybe a little bit more about that? Yes, they are. They Everybody that I've known that has come through and has made it through the SEER pipeline is loves what they do. They get to wake up every morning. They get to go outside all day. And then every day is different. Every day it could be a different training, a different location. So we don't just train in wilderness like this. We also train in the Arctic or on the the ocean or survival in a desert. You're an expert in all the environmental biomes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yes, sir, no thank you for your service. And if you need more information, you can check out the website below uh, or contact us here at the show and we can hook you up with them. So again, thanks for your time.